connection is coming. Yeah. Woo! Hold on. Let's. Okay, we're streaming. So yeah, let's let's say that one more time. We just are we, are we hooked on? Yep. Or, or we're streaming still? on live right now. Yay! Yay! Who's here on Facebook? Anybody here yet? Okay, I want to say convention was announced today. Did everybody see that? Yes. Awesome. Okay, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you go, you're going, you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got to go to convention. That's so awesome. It is the party of the year. Yep. Bethany, hello, Brandy, hello. Convention, did you hear about convention? It's coming. Yep, and just to reiterate that, it's July 24th to the 27th, so it's uh, end of July this time, and then uh, registration goes on February 17th. Yeah, right? so in two weeks, Fed registration will go on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we're so excited. I'm excited to see everybody at EMP. Um, Sue says she loves that it's not in August. I know a lot of people's school starts in August. I think that's yeah, why they so bumped true. it to July. So woohoo, I'm so excited. Hello, everybody jumping on on Facebook. So excited for convention. You know, this is the earliest I think that they've ever announced it. Usually they announce it in like May or, yeah, this well, awesome. maybe that's just because of COVID. Yeah, it's probably, the last two yeah. years have been three years. I don't know years. before that, that I don't have yeah. BC brain. I don't have before <laughs> COVID brain, but. <laughs> hey, Sheila and Debbie, hello. Valencia, welcome, welcome, Jamie. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing from, from Facebook watching us? Amy, Kim, good to see you, Kim, Sue. Kara, awesome. Yeah, actually, the 24th is our is one of our holidays over here in Utah, so uh, we'll, we'll have to miss that a little bit, but all good. Yeah, all good. Fun. Super, super fun. Well, thank you. Amy says happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm only 45. Just want to let you know. How yeah, you? turning. she's turning 44 tomorrow, actually, too, so it's it's awesome. <laughs> maybe i could be 46 I don't, I don't care what my birth certificate says that's what i am i'm i'm, I'm holding to that so <laughs> don't you love it when your kids catch up with you <laughs> yeah my son my oldest son is 44 this year so it's like, yeah. i was one you know that's how it was yeah. so <laughs> yeah that's crazy we're, we're coming up oh my gosh can you believe it well thank you for the happy birthdays i appreciate it i feel so loved you are just so sweet. Thanks for being my friend. I really appreciate it. Well, oh, I got up on my computer. Sorry. Um, getting into some wins and some follow-up from yesterday's homework. How is everybody doing with that? Any wins that we want to shout out before we kind of get going? Today was really cool. We have some uh, a cool little process for you guys to try out with some new people. Um, anybody have any cool wins? Even uh, obviously over on Facebook, we want to hear from you. We know we're, we're seeing a, a chunk of people over there as well. Anybody over here that want to share a win? Um, I'm going to shout out my mom, if that's cool. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's her birthday tomorrow, and I'm going to shout her out because she's the best mom in the world. Mm -hmm. But another thing is she's been crushing it with recruits this month. She's at, I think she's at 19 this month. She's been crushing it. So Now, I want you to know. Best month she's ever, we've ever I had. I think I've signed up 19 people in a year. Yeah. Ever. So <laughs> we've had a huge, huge month with this huge, awesome promotion with, with paparazzi. So. We, uh, we're super excited. They were been gracious with that, but we've been. And I'll share with you what we've done. We just put some posts out and said, anyone that has been a paparazzi consultant before, if you're ever interested in coming back, now's the time, come back. And we thought that we would hit people like that only quit three months ago or six months ago, but many people quit or fell away from paparazzi for a reason, whatever that might be, three and four and five years ago. And it was just a simple little post. And it's all we've done is message, 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 oh, yeah. message, 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 message. Engage and follow up. We yes. follow up. We have this huge like little CRM on our Google Sheets that we've all been sharing and making sure we're following up with everybody. And so super, and super awesome. The key. And it's not because I'm this amazing person. I I'm not, I'm not a recruiter. Yeah, you but are. I am now. You are. You are a recruiting machine. Past, I have not you been a recruiting recruiter. machine. We said that at first. I want to know who's yep. a recruiting machine. Say it yep. if you're here. If you're here, put in the chat. I'm a recruiting machine. I'm a recruiting machine. I'm yep. a recruiting machine. I want to see it. I want to see it in the chat from you guys too. Facebook, Facebook, who's recruiting machines over there? Come on, you guys here on Zoom. I want to see it. There we the go. Chat. Jermaine, there we go. There we go. Good job. I'm a recruiting machine because Jamie. I put the story up here that I could not recruit. Right. And it's easy. 
Oh my gosh, I could, I can't believe it. I had one person message me on my personal messenger today. And she said, I've been thinking about coming, joining again. I just thought I'd reach out. So I called her. It was my Facebook messenger. I just called her and said, hey, what you doing? Come on, let's do it. <laughs> and she's like, uh, okay, I, I don't know. It's been five years. And I'm like, what are you waiting for? <laughs> And I would never say that before. I would like, oh, well, do you want to join? I would love to have you come and work with me. And this time it's just like, you get a bag. You got to do it by today. Come on, come on. So for some reason, this has changed. Yep. Mindset is huge. Mindset is huge. Uh, I watched a really cool thing on, on Tony yeah. Robbins. You guys are awesome. We're seeing a bunch over on Facebook. You guys are crushing oh, it. It's a cookie machine. I want you to say yeah. that. Woo! Alicia is a recruiting machine. She signed up three people this month. I know that. That's awesome. Good yes, for you, good, Alicia. Alicia. Good job. Is Tara here? Let's see. Tara's usually on. Oh, she's traveling. She's, oh no, next week she's traveling. So really cool thing from Tony Robbins. He said in any business, the chokehold of any business, and I see this in our personal lives as well, is he said in any business, 80% is psychological. It's our mind. It's our mindset. Everything. 20% is skills. Okay. So a lot of times our mind and our internal beliefs is what's holding us back, not just the skills that we have to feel like we got to have five doctorate degrees to make sure we know what we're doing out here in business, right? Just like, you don't need a, you don't need a degree, you know, you can, you can do this without any type of education. Like it is awesome. And you just go out there, believe me, all, everything I know has been self-earned, self, uh, self-learned and self-everything. Like everything I took from college I'm learning like I'm taking like 1% if like less than when I took from college. Believe me, if I if I would have done it again, I would just not have gone. So well, I, I want to also jump in really quick. Um, Eric teaches us, um, Frazier teaches us, everybody that we've talked about says you need 50 people in your court. Well, let's just talk about five. You need five people that you hang around with because you become the average of the five people you hang around with most. So if you hang around with people that say you don't recruit, if you hang around with people that aren't successful or that don't make money or that don't love people or that don't love God or that don't, whatever you do, it doesn't matter. And he said, but how do you get to hang around a billionaire? How do you get to hang around someone really successful? Well, is what he started doing was he started with Jim Rohn. I listened, Tony Robbins had a free, unshakable five-day course. It was two hours. And um, I, <laughs> I couldn't get on because it was the same time every single day. It started last Tuesday. And I've been going at night. I listened to it in the morning when I'm putting my makeup on. It changes your life. Yeah. Now, Tony Robbins is my coach. Do I know him? Does he know me? Heavens, no. But I hang around with him. Because he's the one that I want to be like. Yeah. And other than that. So you don't have to have those people sitting next to you physically. Right. You can have them in your ear, yeah. in your head. And you know, the big, the big mentors my mom has surrounded herself with, with probably like the last five or 10 years, she loves the secret. There's Oprah that's on there. There's uh, Bob Proctor. There's all these Lisa like really, Nichols, Lisa yeah. Nichols, all these really awesome mentors. And she's like, she listens to them, she listens to that book on repeat probably every single day. Like she's been listening to them for years and years and years. So find so your mentors. So you want to change your life? Download the book. You can watch it. You can read it, whatever. It's called The Secret. And it's the, it's the law of attraction. And I'm telling you, at 65 years old, I bought my dream house. Because I could. Because I saw that in my head. I saw that house 15 years earlier. It was a parade of homes. I went through it and looked at it and thought, oh, how cool would this be? I bought my dream house. Mm. Yep. I'm no different than you. 10, 12 years ago, I was walking through financial ruin. I'm the same as you. Yep. Getting her boat. We had a, we had a little boat that we had growing up and we, the boat was repossessed. Yeah, so that was a sucky day. Yep. So something okay. getting in today, actually kind of flowing into that is something he talked about is he talked about this idea of what do you, what are you obsessed with in life and who are you telling it? Who are you telling it to? He talked about this idea of his dad, his dad. So Fraser Brooks, obviously we're learning from Fraser Brooks. 
He's this uh, network marketing social media kind of expert. He's, he, he's learned a lot, but he's been in social uh, network marketing before and his parents have been their whole lives. And so he said growing up, his dad would always talk to everybody and anybody about this boat that he wanted. He wanted this boat. He wanted this boat. He's on it like, like, oh, hey, hey, Jerry. Ha- Jerry, how's it going? I- I'm doing great. I'm almost there. I almost got the boat. Almost got the boat. Almost got the boat. I-, I have the boat. I have the plan for the boat. Everybody knew him as wanting this boat, wanting it all the time. And they said one time he went up to convention and went up on stage for this big award. And they went out there and they even asked the question, okay, what is Jerry like? Everybody in the crowd was like, he wants a boat. So they, they brought him these like sailor shoes, this like captain hat and like a little, uh, uh, what is it? The little inner tube thing. Little life, life-saver. lifesaver thing <laughs> because he's been, t- he was talking about it for so long and that's, that becomes your brand. So what are you guys obsessed with? I, I love just, I love questions and what they do with their mind and helping us to think. And so really like finding what you guys love so much and you obsess, obsess about that it easily comes out when you speak and just like, Hey, like. I want this, even in her, like my mom's mind and even like to take it to the next level, it was probably just her mind, but she, was she talking about it? You know, like, Hey, I want to talk about this dream house. I want this dream house. I want this dream house. I want this dream vacation with my kids. I want this. I want to retire my husband. I want to, I want to retire my, myself. I want to do this full time. You know, what, what are you talking about? So um, if you love something, it should come out in your content and anything that you're doing on your social media, right? So this is kind of like a brand of who you are, of what you want. So I want to ask you, I don't know how very many of you know me very well, but <laughs> those of you that know me, what do I talk about the most? Do you know? Anybody, write it, write it in the chat. Anybody know what Robin Frank talks about? One of the things, I mean, I I talk about my grandkids. I talk about a lot of things, but what is the one thing? We're seeing it in the chat. Love your life. Love your life. It saved my life because I said, I love my life because I had cancer and they gave me three to five years to live because I said to the universe, I love my life. I believe God, the universe gave me life. I love my life. I love my family. I love you. I have been blessed with a second chance on earth. I I have a miracle. And I've been blessed to be able to tell people that they've got to love their life. They've got to love living. If it's for just one more minute, who knows? I'm going to go out and get hit by a car someday, bro. I don't know. But you never know. Yeah, We never know how much time we have. We, so we never love do. your life. And I and I I hope you know that that yeah. Even even something I do, I, I have a little, I've done some some life coaching off to the side. And something I've asked some of my my uh, clients that I asked them a couple of times is if you only had 24 hours to live, like legit, only 24 hours to live, and you couldn't tell anybody that you had 24 hours to live, what would you do differently today? Mm-hmm. What would you do differently? Because we never, we know, we don't know. We we hope that we're going to live till ninety, or some of us, some of you hope you're going to live longer. But what would you do differently? Would you spend it with those that you love more? Would you kind of save her life a little bit more? I mean, my mom initially only had three to five years. That was her, that was her treatment like uh, diagnosis. diagnosis. And what are you at now? Nine. Nine. Nine years. That's crazy. I'm telling you, when they say you only have three to five years left, it's a wake up call. It's a big wake up call. Yeah. That was a huge blessing for my mom. Yeah. And I, and I've seen, it was awesome for me to see and see that whole process. So um, we love you guys getting back <laughs> into the training a little bit. That was awesome. Okay. But honestly, that that's like, what are you obsessed with? You know, like what what is life about? You know, so let's talk about it. So something he he went into today is talking about the gap. So I've kind of talked about this idea and it's a little bit further of what I've talked about, the gap in the game mentality which is the gains are these wins in our lives, but the gap is where we want to go, okay? So it's our these goals that we want to. It's where we're at now. The gap is where we're at now, and the gap is where we want to get to. So for an example, if we're making 500 bucks a month right now and with paparazzi, we want to get to, let's say, $4,000 a month. That's the gap. That's the gap. The gap is $3,500 right there. That's where we want to get to, okay? So can I ask that question? So let's say, what was your income of December of 2022? Think about that. I want everybody to write that down. You don't need to put it in the chat, 
but just think, what was your income of 2022, December? And what do you want your income to be in December of 2023? Now, let's say your income was $500 and you want in 2023, you want it to be $4,000. Well, the gap is what you need to change that $3,500. Right. So we need to work on growing and progressing that gap. And a lot of times, if we're not progressing it and trying to grow and bridge that gap, we're just filling it with space. Okay. So the goal is to advance and get closer and bridge that gap and like start making advance and progress to, to the, your goal. So he talked about this in convergence. He said, it's not easy to fill that gap if you don't know where they are. Right. So you can say to someone, um, he is the example of weight loss. So I'm, I'm going to jump on well, that. You can do to making money with social media. Then it kind of, oh, okay. to us. there you go. If you see someone and you say, um, where, where are you up now with making money on social media? Yeah. Where are you now? There's your first question. Where are you now? Where are you now at making money at social media? Well, if I were to ask you that, or where are you at right now with making money with jewelry? Many might say zero and that's okay, but you know where you're at. And then the second question is, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be making money on social media? Where do you want to be selling jewelry? Where do you want to be? If you don't know where you're at, you can't figure it out in between. Right. Oh, I want to be $10,000 a month. Well, come on, you know, let's be realistic. If I'm making zero now and I want to make $2,000 here, well, that's a $2,000 gap. We could divide that by 12. Yeah. That's easy. And 10,000 could be your goal though, depending on it where you're be. at. And if, you, if you're at zero and you're trying to hit 10, it just depends on how much work you got to put into it, right? But if you're only, only used to like a couple hundred dollars for the last year, let's maybe make a little like a milestone. But if you're at, you know, eight grand and 10 grand, isn't that far off, right? Yeah, only $2,000. So to summarize, where are you at now? Where do you want to be? What have you done before? Have we asked that one yet? Not yet. What, what have you done before? Have you made money in November? Have you made money in October? Mm -hmm. Have you made money before? What have you tried? Have you done, you know, are you, are you most, or have you been mostly strictly to home parties or events or have you done, started doing some stuff on social media or what have you done on social media, right? So here's another thing. If you're talking to people, this, this whole situation is, talking to brand new people that are not in paparazzi. And right. so say, have you, oh, um, let's see, let me think if I can do it. But Where I, are you I mean, you could, you could do this with new people, but you could also do this with a team member. Like Correct. if you have a struggling Absolutely. team member, see where they're at now and then see how you can help them, right? And so if you find a single mom that needs some extra money, say, where are you at now? Well, I'm bringing in $2,000. How, where do you want to be? I want to bring in $4,000. What have you done before to try to make money? Well, you know, I don't know. Have you ever been on social media lives? Have you ever sold at a boutique or trade shows or an event? Have you ever done any of that? No, not really. Well, number four, would you be open to my solution to look at what I have? Would you be open to look at some way to make extra money? And so there's your questions, you know, where are you? What have you done? Have you done it before? Where are you now? Where are you now? Where do you want to be? What have you done before? Are you open to my solution? Right. And even if let's just say you're talking to a team member, it's like, oh yeah, I've already done the live thing and it's not working. Well, okay. Well, maybe your solution is, well, have you been, have you been actively trying to find new customers? No, I'm just hoping that people come to me. Okay. Well, maybe if we had a solution that I could kind of help you kind of go out and find people, would you be open to like trying that out? Well, maybe. Okay, well, let's maybe let's try that together. Okay, what do you think about that? Okay. And then we can talk about some of the things we've learned on social media, how to message people, how to yeah, contact. Yeah, this, this whole last month. Yes. Like, let's, let's work Send on your finding people. DMO. You know, let's work yeah. on that together. Or if it's a new person, if they need some extra money, say, would you be open to see what I have? Because I'm making $500 a month. Yep. And then you present them with paparazzi. Say, come and play with me. It's so fun. Yep. So again, we, we, you, you can use this, these gap questions and actually just taking a step to the side for a second. Um, he used the gap as an acronym as well. As gap is to, to help us know what the gap is. The gaps is the goal you have. G is for goals. A is for the actions you take, A. And then P is the people you surround yourself with, okay? 
So it's a cool little acronym to help us remember that we got to surround ourselves with good people, higher level ender people to kind of play at higher levels. Like if I'm, if I'm 12 years old and I'm playing some, some ball and, and I'm going to go, if I want to get better, I'm going to go play with the 16 year olds, not playing with the 10 year olds. If I'm 12, right. I gotta, I gotta level my, my game up. Right. So obviously we've talked about this in this, in the sense of a team and also a new person, but we're going to go through a, a, an idea of how you could talk about this with a new person. Like we're going out and actively trying to find new people. What does this question, these questions look like for a new person, like a prospect. Okay. So what, uh, here's an idea is saying, Hey, Hey name, just curious if you're interested or, you know, open, depending on what you want to say, if you're open to making some more money on social media, if not, no worries. We're using that kind of as a DM, right? We want to get everything. We want to push people into the DM, right? That has a more better engagement with people. If they say yes, perfect. This is solid gold. Again, if you don't like solid gold, interchange it with something you like. I love this. This is awesome. This is amazing. Before we get started, I would love to ask you four simple questions to make sure you're a great fit for this, right? We've given you a bunch of different scripts. Customize and see which ones work for you, okay? Go back and say those again. So one, hey, name, just curious if you're open to making some, some money on social media. If not, no worries, okay? So again, depending on who you're talking to and where you're at with that process to warming them up and engaging with them, they'll come and, back. And let's just say... Hey, hey, Mary, are you open to making some more money in your spare time or open to making right. some more money? So we'll, we'll focus on social media, okay? okay? If they say yes, perfect. This is solid gold. Before we get started, I would love to ask you four simple questions to make sure you're a great fit for this. They come back, all right. And then these are the questions we ask, right? Where are you now in making money on social media? Okay, ask them. And if you can do this, so obviously we can do this in a DM, but if you can get this to a call, that's awesome. A call is better because uh, he talked about uh, high ticket pricing, or if you have a, a ticket that's over $2,000, obviously our, our intro starter kits are lower, but normally a higher ticket thing, you kind of need a little bit better like trust to be able to have that with them, like get on a phone call or, but if not, I know a lot of people would still like, since it's 500 bucks, we've been able to sign up. Anyways, sorry. So questions, where are you at now with making money on social media? You get their you get their feedback. Okay, um, I've never made money. Awesome, sweet, that's perfect. We can we can start we can go from there. I've made a couple hundred dollars here and there. Awesome, perfect. We can work with that. Perfect. I can get. Let, let's do that. Number two, where do you want to be in making money on social media? If they if they said they're at three hundred bucks and they want to get to a thousand, awesome. I know where they want to go, because a lot of times we guess the gap and they only want to make. 500 bucks and we think they want to make 10 grand and we're pushing them like crazy and we give them too much to do or backwards they want to make 10 grand and i think they only want to make 500 dollars. yeah so remember uh, um don't write cater, their story cater to your customer what they want okay so where do you, where are you at now let them answer where do you want to be awesome what have you done before Oh, I've never done social media stuff. Oh, I've just kind of sold some like boutique stuff here and there. Like I've never really done anything. Okay, awesome. Hey, you haven't done anything. Perfect, awesome. No bad habits. We can start fresh. This is awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Anything they do is going, you want to validate them and make like their decision is the, a good decision, right? You want to like empower them, okay? So what have you done before? And then four, are you open to my solution? He said, he, he talked about the statistic. When you get people to say yes twice to your solution, this, there's this huge increase in your productivity to, 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 get, to bridge that gap with your own goals. And he talked about this 300% gain that people in his like sales organization, when he gets people to say yes twice by saying yes to uh, an opportunity or interested in something and open to the solution, it just helps progress that, that, uh, that gap, success, that increase. success that you'll be able to get. 300%. Yeah. So are you open to, to my solution? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Now let now go into it. Okay. So you're getting them to say yes twice by saying yes, they're interested in making money. And then yes, they're open to your solution. Okay. Does that mean everything will go perfect? No. Remember things like this takes work and we're going to have to like work at things until we kind of refine things and help people to, you know, get them to trust you and get them to see your solution and everything. So what was this? Why did he say that? He said people with disabilities. Oh, that's just the thing that he said. So okay, uh, here's we're almost the dare. At time. Okay, oh, dare. dare. Dare, real quick, and then we'll open up for some Q&A. Sorry, we didn't look yeah. at what the time. Do you want to go into it? Yeah, dare is ask someone the four questions to identify the gap and figure out 
how to close it. So remember the questions, where are you, where do you want to be? Have you done it before? And are you open to my solution? Yep. And, um, the, the double dare is to do it over a video, yeah. over a video, right? I mean, if you can't do a video, if you can do like an audio, awesome. But taking to the next level, obviously uh, a phone call is better than just uh, a kind of back and forth text interaction. Okay. So one thing to remember as we go uh, to remember all this stuff, we're giving you a lot of different tools, just like a toolbox. There's going to be a lot of different tools. You can use them for different people. And sometimes they work better at different times. Okay. Use what tools you like the best. We've given you a bunch of different scripting along this route and a lot of different things. They're tools for you to use. Sometimes one tool, you'll start using it. And maybe you want to change to a different tool. Awesome. Sweet. That's great. Okay. So open it up to some Q&A real quick. Anybody have any questions from today? Any other questions? Um, sorry, we haven't really been watching Facebook. Sorry, we've just been kind of going into things. I want to, to say thank you in the chat and to people on, on Facebook. Thank you so much for your sweet love and your sweet happy birthdays and all those wonderful things. I appreciate it. Um, you can read body language and you can put a face to the company. I love it. I love it, Shelly. I love to call on a video call. I have one just this morning, for example, that said, I'm thinking about coming back to paparazzi. So I just pulled up my messenger and called her. She didn't answer, but she talked to me because she was probably still in her pajamas. It was early. And we chit-chatted. And I wish I would have known these four questions. I did not ask them, but I'm like, well, why, why did you quit? And where are you at? And what do you want to be? And I kind of did. But the video chat was awesome. And she's yep. going to sign up tonight. So That's I'll awesome. get one more. Uh, Valencia, you said, uh, would you use this for new customers? I would try it out and see what happens and then come back to us and see how it works. Yeah, right. let us know. That'd be great. Um, Kathy, are we able to uh, view prior videos? Absolutely. Go to the top of this group. There's an important info um, post in the description. There's a link to the Zoom. There's a link to all the replays. We're hoping to, I talked about the idea of a table of contents before. We're just going to update the thumbnails and all the videos so you know which video is about. So it's easier to find what video is about. And then you can just click on um, those videos and then see what's in there and then what, watch what videos you want. Um, someone said something before we get off real quick. Uh, Woohoo, that's awesome. What if they say yes, 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 then back out? Great question. I think there's something for you to just, there's got to be something that, that broke, right? That, that broke in that system. And maybe even just say, hey, if they ghost you, you can go back to them a little bit and say, hey, hey, Shelly. I, I feel like you're amazing and I feel like we had a great connection going on and I feel like there was something that happened that I, I possibly did to kind of mess up this connection. Can you help me like, can you forgive me for that and kind of like, let's make this connection better again. And hopefully you can talk to them and be able to see what happened in their story for them to like, it's just like, oh, well, I was talking to a friend and they said this whole paparazzi, like MLM thing's a scam. It's like, okay, well, oh, that's interesting. What, what did they say about it? You know, listen to them and relate. And then you can hopefully see how you can bridge that gap and hopefully you can still follow up with them and see if they might sign up later. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop following up with people, you know? Yeah. But listen to them because yeah, there them. is Don't always assume. message in what they're saying. Yeah. There's, a, there's, there's gotta be some sort of story for them to say, be so interested and then just turn off instantly. There's gotta be some sort of story of something that happened. I just awesome. wanted to pull this up. I don't know if you could see. Oh. No, no. Anyway, this is the Facebook page right okay. up here at the very yep. top. Just click that and Important you can info. see. Important info. It's a pin post. Click that and on the description. Yep. Uh, okay. we got two minutes left. We're going to jump off okay. real quick. We love oh, you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.